Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Tamara Mari situation with her husband, Adam Housley. So what's going on is you guys all know last week they lost their niece. Her name was Elena Housley. So basically what's going on is they did an interview with Good Morning America and they were talking about gun control and they're basically talking about everything that happened to their niece and what they're going through as a family. And so a lot of people use this opportunity to bash Tamara and say, you know, you weren't worried about gun control when it was Trayvon Martin. You never speak on important issues but now that it's hit your backyard now you want to cry and speak on these issues it got so bad that Tamara went back and forth with people for upwards of an hour addressing people to the point where she decided to just stop addressing people altogether. this entire situation is crazy I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the back and forth between Tamara and a lot of her followers go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary hundreds of mourners gathered for a somber homecoming in Northern California Elena Housley was the youngest of the 12 victims of last week's mass shooting in Thousand Oaks. People lined the streets yesterday to pay their respects to the 18-year-old as her body was returned to her hometown of Napa, California. Lee Cowan spoke with her father, uncle, and aunt, sister, sister star, Tamara Maury Housley, about the heartbreaking loss. My daughter's body was brought back to Napa today. We're gonna, we're gonna bury her in four days. I should not have to do that. But Eric Housley didn't have to do it alone. Lining the Napa streets were hundreds of good-hearted folks who came to welcome 18-year-old Elena Housley home for the last time. What was it like for you guys to see that line of people for over a mile? I lost it. My, aunt, yeah. my wife Hannah and I lost it. The utter sameness of this grim ritual is more than familiar to Elena's uncle, Adam Housley, a former Fox News correspondent. I've been to these things, Lee, you have. You've covered these things, you go home and you, you sit there and you're like, you know, my gosh, how are these people gonna get through it? You know, and, and now we're living it. Elena was beautiful. She was my friend. His wife and Elena's aunt, actress Tamara Mori Housley, is looking for answers. Yes, there needs to be a change. But all the noise, nothing's been done. And it's because of that, despite being in the midst of so much grief, that they all agreed to talk to us. Elena, they say, would have wanted to dig deeper than politics. If I was to walk out here, the first thing I was to say was, you know, gun control, guess what? Half the country. Conversation ends. ends. Yeah, we don't want the conversation to end. It can't this time. We want it to continue. Have you been able to wrap your head around talking about her in the past tense? Yes. How come? We don't believe that her voice will die. Uh, we believe that, that there's a message that's out there. What's that message? Um, to us, it's to, to be kind, kind to one another. It's to um, put down your, your technology, put down your phones, and look at somebody and have a conversation. It's not about gun control. This, is, this message is about doing something bigger, to be with your community, to love one another. All things that you don't right. have to legislate. Right, well, things, exactly. To get to the point where we can have a conversation about anything political, it has to start here. It has to start with the soul, because we've lost that. What if somebody walked up to the guy and just asked him how he was doing that day and, 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 and said hello to him or did something that may have just changed his mind instead of ignoring or whatever we're doing? You know what people are going to say, though, is skeptics are going to say it's too simple. That, that sounds great about being mm -hmm. decent Doesn't and it? kind yep. and reaching a handout. Yep. But I See, think I most think people are going to say it's I too it's, complicated. I think it starts there. You start with imagining, wait a minute, what if that was my child, or my niece, or my cousin, it'll get you in a place of just having some sort of human decency. If there's any doubt there's a deficit of decency, look no further than the family's social media. You should see some of the tweets we got after Elena died. Ridiculous. 
Really? Oh, oh. I got one. You deserve it. You worked at Fox News. And it got yes. liked by about 78 yes. people. You're kidding. No. No. That impossible divide. The chasm that pundits suggest is too wide for any bridge. All faded away by what Elena's family saw underneath her final sunset back home in Napa. What she would want to happen is what happened today. When we drove down that street, I saw people of all colors, all ages, people I'd never seen. I was born and raised in this town, hugging, um, holding hands, uh, shaking hands. She'd want that to happen at a national level. She wouldn't want this happening to anyone else. So in the last and final post that really got to Tamara, um, this person wrote, stop cooning at Tamara Mari too and speak on real issues. Stop soft stepping and beating around the bush or her death is in vain. So then Tamara ends up replying and she says, you are a part of the problem. This is the prime example I spoke about in my interview. If you have love in your heart, you don't talk this way. You obviously miss the message and don't you ever judge the death of my niece. When I tell you it got so heated on social media yesterday, it was really sad. You know, at the end of the day, I feel like this, okay? There's a time and place for everything. And that woman's niece is not even in the ground yet. People are turning this not only political, but they're turning it into a race issue. They're saying that the husband has said some problematic things about Trayvon Martin. He said other problematic things about, you know, black people and things like that. And that might be true, but like I said, there's a time and place for everything. And if she doesn't want to get on there and be super pro-black, she doesn't have to. That's just not her demeanor. I mean, have y'all not watched her on The Real? She cries about every damn thing. And if anybody talks about her husband, she's in tears. She's just not that type of person that's not her disposition that's not her demeanor so why do people expect somebody whose demeanor is not that to then somehow turn and stop being who they are and be this hardcore super heavy you know pro-black person that's not who Tamara is Tamara you know what I'm saying she's a very soft-spoken person and she speaks about stuff in a certain way and that's okay we're all different if you want to be super pro-black and have your fist in the air and scream and shout that's on you that's your personality but I would never expect somebody like Tamara to get on ABC News and really speak truth to power so for y'all who are expecting her to do that y'all look crazy because that's not even her damn personality okay this is Tamara Housley not K Michelle okay <laughs> a good day Okay. Now back to that shaking one. the table. <laughs> Don't shake unless you're ready to get shook. I mean, this entire situation is just insane. You know, has her husband said some problematic stuff in the past? Yes, he has. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to respect their privacy. I'm still going to respect that their niece lost her life doing nothing more than going to a bar and having fun, fun with her friends. This could have been anybody else's child. This could have been anybody else's niece. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully now he will know how Trayvon Martin's parents felt as well. You know, but I'm not going to sit here and talk down to them or talk about them or drag them like so many people are doing on social media. This is not the time or place. And it's really sad that people are using the death of this little girl to go in on him and to going on to marriage should never be that damn serious another thing that's bothering about this situation is that we keep hearing about alina housley okay we keep hearing about her niece her niece is the one getting the most shine the one that everybody's talking about but what about the other 11 victims okay there were 12 people who got killed that night and out of all 12 of them i only know her name I've only been seeing stories about her. And I understand why, because she's attached to a celebrity. So I get that. But in my personal opinion, I really feel like, you know, they need to start shedding light on other victims as well, speaking to other victims' families. You know what I'm saying? Letting us know how, how this entire situation is affecting other people as well, not just the Housies and the Maris, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning Tamara and her husband. 
basically getting drugged all over social media because people are saying that Tamir is cooning and she's not speaking truth to power. And it's funny how they're talking about things now, now that it's affected them. But when it affects, you know, black people, they're both silent. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation, honey. All right, deuces. Next game! <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you wanna know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.